Okay, so do you guys like to begin? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's just a few minutes early if you want to. I'm good with going now. You good for going now? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next, I'd like to present Cole Sitzberger. Uh, good afternoon, Cole Sitzberger. Uh, I'm here today to present you with my inventory management app, Rough Inventory. <coughs> In the world of small construction companies, keeping track of your inventory is the difference between making a profit and being in the red. It's the difference between a crew sitting out of town over the weekend waiting for more materials to come in and them going home. Uh, I personally worked in this industry. I've seen it firsthand. A lot of these companies don't use like an up-to-date inventory management system. It's inaccessible to people who would need to use it. It's, they're often uh, scattered copies of other, of older inventories, like Excel spreadsheets mailed around. Uh, and when they are accessible, they can often be unsecure or unmonitored. Uh, along with this, other inventory management systems have a tendency to be complex, difficult to learn, and can be more focused towards the retail side of things where you're moving product like out of the store or selling it to make a profit instead of using this inventory to perform a service. This is where Rough Inventory comes in. Rough Inventory is an inventory management system for the rugged environment. It's designed for these smaller construction companies to suit their needs of needing something that can be learned and used from anywhere. And based on this, I centered it around four key ideas to make the inventory to accessible to anyone who would need it, whether it be a low-level employee, a uh, manager, a uh, foreman out on a job needing to see what's back at the shop, uh, to provide synchronicity across all these accounts of inventory. So there isn't older versions floating around out there possibly making someone think, oh, you know, there's inventory there that isn't. To make this data more secure and more trackable, to be able to tell when it's been changed and when it hasn't. And finally, to make an inventory management system that is easy to teach someone and easy to use and streamlined. So to address these four key ideas, I took an approach on with two main steps. One, to utilize an online data storage system. This, this is a cloud, it's a cloud-based server, which allows anyone to access it from anywhere, as long as you have a copy of rough inventory and a laptop to use it. This helps address the problem of people just not being able to get at it for someone to like need to email it to you or to call the shop manager to see what's on the shelf. It's also being cloud-based. It's one file, one database that's accessed and used across all these systems, preventing the possibility of older copies. And alongside, and alongside this, it's hosted by a larger corporation which provides regular backups, and in case something does go down, they are automatically instated. The second part is a desktop application. Uh, the desktop application is designed for two types of people, project, project and shop managers who need the ability to track and control employees who can and can't access the data, and employees who for the most part either need to see what's on hand or to be able to edit inventory themselves without the ha with an easier time. Alongside this, the desktop application was designed with ease of use in mind. Uh, I wanted to make things streamlined, accessible to someone who maybe wouldn't have the most technical training or experience even with simpler programs. Someone who doesn't spend a whole lot of time around computers, so they could just walk up to a laptop in a shop, 
or a uh, place of business and enter a few items of inventory or track inventory they took out for the day. Uh, so as for rough inventory itself, it's mainly based through an account system that certain accounts have access to some accounts are uh, administrative accounts where they will have access to use and and uh, decide who can and can't edit inventory for example this account is the administrator account for this company and For example, this account is an employee's account where they do not have access to this inventory or to the employee side of things. They can't change who can and can't access data. But from a oops, wrong one, uh, from the manager or from a administrator setup, you can select and allow them this access. allow them this access. Uh, uh, as far as changing or adding new data, uh, I wanted to make an approach, I wanted to make it so it would be all in the same frame, not several frames scattered across. Uh, So it's all in these interior panels. Uh, so I think, or er, in the end, uh, rough inventory, I think, wound up being a tool that can be used to create and manage this inventory fairly effectively. Uh, it's easily, I think it's easily accessible via the, just the fact that it's cloud-based and can be accessed from anywhere. Uh, the synchronicity via, once again, cloud-based and uh, just how I've handled the data. Uh, and the role system I feel makes it more secure and better protected against someone who would want to change data or cause harm to uh, the inventory. Uh, in reflection, uh, I feel like through this project I got better with managing time and looking forward and being able to prioritize what's coming forward and dealing with issues that may be bigger down the road and not dealing with smaller ones first and putting them off. Uh, I think it also helped me improve my problem solving, dealing with problems more frequently on my own and without a safety net. So that's rough inventory. Um,
Any questions or? So can you tell me which cloud service you use and how is it different than say working with a, like a local file or a local database? Um, I used Amazon's RDS database and it's hosting a Microsoft SQL server actually. Um, in comparison, uh, it actually took me a bit for it to, to hit. Oh, yeah. It's just. Oh. Oh, no, it must just reset once you go out of slideshow. Um, but no, like I was saying, um, it's more or less the same once you have the format set up for it connecting. Um, it took a little bit fr to figure out from the server side how to make it accept more connections more frequently. Uh, Amazon didn't really have a great, uh, how I call it, documentation for it. Uh, but once that fell in place, it was more or less like working with an on site server. I know Amazon has a bunch of different services. What, what's unique about was it RDS? Uh, yes, Rela it's relational database service. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, RDS is mainly focused on databases. Uh, it's a part of the whole Amazon. Uh, oh my God, well, I can't. So, uh, I think it's AWS. I can't think of what the acronym stands for right now. But uh, I mean, it's more just a part of that larger suite. Was it written in Java or C-sharp? Uh, it's Java-based. Question here? Oh. How, do you, how would you handle someone who forgets their password? Um, it's funny I hadn't thought of that, but uh, I suppose if I was actually running this as a web development, as like a service like over the internet that I would be hosting, I would be able to access the back end of the database to be able to see what their password is, maybe email them, but that would be something for the future to add a password recovery system. Uh, anyone else? How was inventory added? Is it through an Excel spreadsheet or one at a time? Uh, it's a SQL database, or it's a SQL database. So, oh, I, I think I may have skipped over that. Uh, so it's just basically through these windows where, say, Oh, yeah. Was it doing that during the presentation? No. no. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> that went very bad. Uh, so this is just basically a series. Oh, of course. All right. It, it's a J panel or it's a J-scroll plane filled with several smaller J-panels that are made up of, it's not a spreadsheet of any kind, it's... So they're able to add it from the application then? Yeah. Okay, so it's... Anyone else? Other questions? Okay, thank you, cool. Okay.